Welcome to Your Cyber Path, the podcast that helps you get your dream cybersecurity job by sharing the secrets of experienced hiring managers and top cybersecurity professionals with you. Now, on to the show. Okay. Now, what about, there's some other uh, mobile risks that we need to be aware of, right? Like, um, like IMSI catchers. I've heard of that before, but I don't think I could tell you h- how it works in the way that I kind of knew how SIM swapping works. Would you mind just telling us, like, what is an IMSI catcher and why sure. do we need to be concerned about that? Yeah, it's an IMSI catcher, uh, international mobile, like, you know, subscriber identity. That mm-hmm. stands for IMSI, which is every SIM card have a identity, right? Okay. So the way it works is like, you know, we have public number, which is our SIM card, which is our number, but actually yeah. it's linked. It's translated to a machine uh, into a different identity that is only listened by carrier. So I'll give you a very simple example. Like if you don't get a coverage in your house, you set up a booster sometime. Yeah. A cell phone booster, right? Right. Uh, so that booster could be legitimate, but that could be a, a rogue one as well. By being so I can give you a rogue booster, which basically sent one to signal mm-hmm. and one to the rogue thing right okay cool oh. so that what happened so what is what happened normally in these um, catcher is that people build this and they will give it to people or they will install indications mm-hmm. where all the care so the cell phone will think this is a, actually the closest tower so normally right. what happened is that um, if you have like multiple tower it will connect to the strongest one which is the closest one okay generally the closest one so it connect to that and you're talking to someone but not talk Talk to so you can be making a call to nine one one, and the and the tower can actually redirect to a different person. Mm-hmm. So if you're talking about extreme example, what can happen? You call nine one one, yeah, and the call get diverted to um a random center, yeah, and the person the help is on the way, but not a help is basically the right. guy who's trying to kill you. <laughs> okay, okay. So um so and, and now you said MC is kind of how you pronounce I M S I, right? MC. That's right, yeah. yeah, yeah. MC. Okay, so so an MC catcher is like a man in the middle attack. It's a That's fake man in the middle. Yeah, it's yeah. a fake tower. It's a fake tower. Okay. Now I'm aware that police sometimes use this, right? That's or right, in- yeah. intelligence agencies sometimes use this. Okay, thank you. All right. Now that that actually makes a lot of sense. Now, what can what can what can I do uh, to detect whether I'm t- my mobile device is talking to an MC catcher? Is that something I can even know? i uh, not for consumer like it's critical. Uh, yeah. Like you know, we have built protections against it, but frankly, like you know, they are like we don't even give it to our customers. Mm. So uh, because it's so complicated, like you know, it's not convenient for people because sometimes we have false positive, and secondly, no one needs this and costs a lot of money to us. So we don't even give it to customer, but we do have. We do give it to like high profile clients and mm-hmm. uh, some uh, sub agencies because there's laws around it. Um, because sometimes uh, interception is done lawfully, right? Yes. So you don't want criminal to know that they are being intercepted. Exactly. So, uh, so without talking into that, yes, you can protect against that, but it's like slightly complicated. 